Coral Gables community leaders gather at the Biltmore Hotel for the second annual George E. Merrick Award of Excellence Dinner. The award ceremony was part of the Coral Gables Chamber of Commerce Goals Conference. This year's conference had the theme of great expectations. You know, it's an idea that came to me over a year ago, and I was really looking forward to my chamber year. I have a lot of exciting initiatives that I'm going to be announcing um, at our goals conference tomorrow. So the theme of great and what to expect of my year kind of kept resonating with me, and so that's where it came from. The night began with a cocktail reception, followed by the opening of the ceremony and introduction of the judges by the mistress of ceremonies, NBC6's Jackie Nesbrough. The nominees for the award were James T. Parker, Betsy Adams, Marion Katulis, Virginia Miller, and Jeanette Slesnick. All the nominees had a big impact on the Coral Gables community, but it was Betsy Adams and her 50 years of hard work that took home the award. It's fabulous. I, I just still can't believe it. It's wonderful. I love it. And the Garden Club will share in this. And it was through them, and I give them credit. We've worked hard to raise the money for this and the entrances. We spent over a million dollars, and we'll keep doing it. It's our purpose. That's what we do. The award statue was not only a huge honor for Adams, but the statue itself featured something special to her. On top of the statue was an exact replica of the George E. Merrick statue in front of City Hall, which Adams was involved in placing. Actually, I've been working for 50 years for the city through the Garden Club. I've just uh, loved the city, wanted to do what Merrick wanted done, and he had not, we had no statue of him. He wanted entrances, beautiful entrances into the city, couldn't do it because of the Depression. And so we started with the Coralway and Red Road, we did the one at, Mary, at Douglas and Miracle Mile, and the one at Ponce and 8th Street, and now we're doing a statue of his mom at the Merrick House. And we said, hey, there's no statue of our founder. We need that. And so uh, I had important people uh, on the ad hoc group, and we worked for many years raising $300,000 for that statue and traveled to Mississippi to find our sculpture. And uh, that was, that's how we did it. And I said, hey, there has to be one of Merrick in front of City Hall. And that's how it happened. Well, obviously, our greatest civic leader ever in Coral Gables was George Merrick. He was the person that started the chamber. He, he started the city of Coral Gables. He started the University of Miami. And so it's somebody that we really look up to here in the Gables. And we thought the best way to honor him was to create a ward in, in his name and his, in, in his honor. So we, this is our second year of the award ceremony and we're thrilled that the head of the Garden Club for more than 50 years, Betsy Adams, has won. Um, she really encompasses everything that we look for in a winner and that's somebody who really thinks about George Merrick's ideals and what they do in their civic or their business work in the community. The Chamber of Commerce is going to continue having this award ceremony each year to recognize individuals in the community that follow George E. Merrick's spirit. We definitely want to keep having this every year. We really thank Alan Morris, the Alan Morris Companies, because he was the brainchild behind the award. Um, he's somebody in his day-to-day -day life and it's his business really encompasses a lot of what Merrick did in terms of planning and residential and commercial development. So it's an award that we really look forward to. It's our second year and we hope we have it for many years to come. What's happening Coral Gables? I'm David Alvarez.